Good morning, guys. It is market day. I know I have not recorded any prep or anything. I've just been so busy. It was my birthday, and then I went to a birthday party yesterday. Yeah, it is market day. I still gotta put stuff in my car. Oh my, my room is a little messy. And that's about it. I didn't really make any new things. All I did was um, pattern test and. I didn't really have to prep anything because I already had stuff left over my last one. But, yeah. I'm sorry. This video might be short because I'm only recording this. But, let's get started. Let's head to the market now. Okay, I'm on an elevator. I was kind of nervous getting here, but... It's going smooth and I'm kind of excited. All right, let's get set up now. Here's the setup. get everyone in a video but I have to watch my booth too. McDonald's kitty, sold a chicken nugget, I even sold a ghost, keychains are empty, I need to restock those, super bad. put this here, all of my keychains are gone, literally four or five left, I sold a trinket box, my first one, can't wait to make another one, Really, everything is going away. Every 
market I do. I always forget to record the aftermath, but I already put up some stuff. But I always forget to record the aftermath. Hello guys. It is the day after the market. And what the heck? It is the day after the market. And now I'm gonna do a summary of this market. I know it was pretty short. I didn't really record much. It was super loud in there. It was a football game going on. Everybody was screaming. And then, yeah, it was just so loud. And so I'm gonna talk about what I sold at this market. I did pretty good at this market. Okay, so. I sold three strawberry key change, which I only had three in stock, so those sold out. I sold five mushroom keychains, those sold out. I had five in stock. Two bees, those sold out. I had two in stock. One frog, sold out. Mushroom charm, that goes on your bag. One big strawberry plush keychain. And then I sold one of my strawberry hats. Is it on really? I sold one of my strawberry hats. I'm so happy that sold. I sold one of my roses that I put out. This little boy had bought it. I sold a strawberry wallet, which was my last one. I had to restock on those. And let me see. I sold a strawberry cake box. Oh my God. I was so happy when somebody bought that. Like, oh my gosh. Somebody bought a strawberry cake trinket box. I can't wait to just make more now that I sold one. I, can I sold two of my ghost plushies that. I sold two of my ghost plushies. I had them on sale for $10 because I'm trying to get rid of them. But even if they wasn't on sale, I'm pretty sure they would have sold because I had to tell them, like, hey, it's on sale because I didn't mark it on the tag. But I sold two of these after Halloween. So just to let you guys know, don't be afraid to put your Halloween stock out if you didn't sell it. Just put it out because some people like Halloween after Halloween, which I do. But yeah, I sold two of these, almost three, but I sold two. So one mushroom, I need to restock those. One B, I literally had one of like everything. I didn't really do market prep. I know I should have, but yeah. I sold a chicken nugget and they was asking, do you have any more chicken nuggets? I was like, no, I need to just make at least two of each things. Cause I know some people want like matching plushies. I sold one of my flat frogs. I just did a pattern test. So I sold one of those. I sold a mini pumpkin. Yeah, people still buy little pumpkins. I sold two of those Halloween bears that I did a pattern test on. They love, they love those. I'm going to make more of those. I sold my pumpkin pie. I think I might. No, I'm not going to make another one because my next market is in December. I don't think people want a pumpkin pie. <clears throat> my pretzel snake. I sold my pretzel snake. I'm going to miss him. I think I'm going to make another one. I sold my McDonald's Hello Kitty. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to miss her. I think I'm gonna make another one. Should I do like Burger King or something? And I sold my last strawberry frog. I need to make more of those. I remember I restocked those and it literally took so long to sell and at my markets people were buying them. So I think I'm gonna probably make two more of those cause people like them. And so in total I had 23 sales, which is good. This is like a really good market compared to my other ones. Let's talk about how much I made. So. In total, with state taxes, I made $470.03. And then take out the taxes, I'm gonna put that away. I had I had made $436. And then minus the square fees, the card fees, I made $423.64 in total. That was a pretty nice market. It was at this Wine Street Brewery thing when they had beer and wine. And then it was a football game, and everybody was there watching the football game on this big old TV. And it was, it was a lot of people there. So yeah, I really like this market. It's called Artem Vine. Getting there was super easy. I loaded in. I didn't have any help because my partner was busy. But it's okay. It'll be at the next one, I hope. But yeah, it was pretty easy. It was like, it was on the second floor, so leaving it was a line to the elevator to get out but the line was going pretty smooth it's all right not a big deal but i liked it it was it was pretty it was pretty good i didn't sell any bags 
those bags are pretty hard to sell. I'm gonna tell you that right now. People, people do love plushies and keychains, but I do love my bags, and I do sell them online more than in person. But yeah, I really like that market. It was so when I say it was so many different vendors, it was so many different types of. It was mugs with candles in the mugs. That's my cat. They had Hello Kitty mugs with candles and then once the candle was done you could use the mug so it was it was plant vendors so many artists that I hand drew hand painted so many cute jewelries I bought me these earrings and I bought three shirts from this girl across from me yeah it was so many like unique I, I think I was the only crochet vendor there like everybody was different literally every everything was different like i don't know how to explain it like everybody had different stuff like i didn't see i mean yeah there was candles and other stuff but it was everything was just so unique it was literally a crystal vendor that had crystal jewelry i couldn't really go over there because it was too far from my table i wanted to look at shop but i couldn't it was too far from my table but yeah I love that market. I had fun. It was super loud. It's okay though. But yeah, thank you guys for 700 subscribers. That is amazing. I have videos coming up soon. I know I've been overworking myself a little bit. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to do more markets next year. I have one December 2nd, but next year is going to really be the next year it's really gonna be the peppa <clears throat> see me follow my instagram check my website for the dates because i have especially valentine's day don't get me started on my valentine's day stock because y'all know pink and red my valentine's day stock is about to be so cute i cannot wait valentine's day i like that the colors of uh, i just can't wait over that so yeah Thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you're watching this and you was at and you was there and you were selling there or whatever, hi. And yeah, you guys are so talented. If you're watching this, you're talented and I'm proud of you. Even if you're not even doing anything, I'm proud of you and you're talented. Everybody has a talent. See you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment on how you feel about this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.